Hello friends, how is everybody doing today? And if you're new here, please consider clicking that subscribe button and hitting the like. And if you would click that, that little bell over there to let you know when I upload because I do all kinds of different stuff. Welcome to Haunted Ramblings. And guys, I'm out of breath, I'm sorry. Um, because of some health issues I had come up uh, last week, um, and then tap it all off, my starter went on my car, so I'm waiting for a new starter to come in from my car so I can get it fixed, because I'm sorry, I'm not paying, like, five times as much for a starter at a local store when you can get it online for, like, five times less. I'm just not doing it. Um, <laughs> this chick ain't got almost $300 for a starter. Um, so, anyways, I'm waiting for it to come. It's been shipped. We just gotta wait. Um, secondly, my health, um, I, I kinda had a little issue. Um, so I'm out of breath. Uh, my speech is a little off. I'm sorry. So, for all my new subscribers I've gotten over the past week, thank you so very much. And why does it always seem like this shirt is on backwards? I guess it has a seam down both front and back, and I didn't know that. I've been turning this shirt around and around, and, and I'm like, it always seems to be on backwards, but it's, it's me. I'm just, it's me. I'm having one of those days. How about y'all? Anyways, this is a food pantry haul. I'll shut up and talk about it now. Um, it has been a day and a half, guys, I swear. Last week, because my starter went out, I did not get to the food pantry. Um, yeah, I made it to my doctor's appointment and the starter quit. So, um, they let me come in this week and get my food pantry. Um, our food pantry is very generous. They're also supported by their own um, thrift store, which helps them have extra funds to be able to uh, get things through harvesters, I think is how that works. Don't bite my head off if I'm not right. So, um, we do have a very generous uh, food pantry for our county. Um, some of the, there is a box that is called the USDA box, um, which our county gets that, you know, if you come, you get that regardless. And then I get what's called shopping because of my income levels and, um, I qualify for uh, being able to do what is normally called shopping, meaning I get to go in and they say you're allowed so many cans of this and you can pick what you like. But because of co oh, that word, because of what's going on for the past almost year, um, they pick for us. We're not allowed inside the building so that, um, you know, because it's a volunteer sort of base run. Um, so... We're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you what all I got today. So, um, of course, we got Cheerios, which um, these are gluten-free, so uh, that's really good. And I can eat a, a, an amount of these, but I I have stuff from Avi. And you could take these Cheerios and you can mix, take them and put some in a shaker bag. And add a scoop of like the Abby, um collagen protein mix in with them. Oh my gosh, they're really good. They're really good. So getting a box of Cheerios is a big plus right now. My blood sugar has been out of control because of my stomach disease. And the pills just aren't agreeing with me. So they're trying a new pill. And then I will see. And then I got crispy hexagons, which again, with the Abby. Another thing that you can shake the protein, the with and it works good. I got a thing of Bisquick. Really cool. Um, there's so many things you can do with Bisquick. I have some blueberries I need to make a, uh, what do you call it? Man, my mind is just not working. Um, blueberry, you know, in the crock pot dumplings is what I'm looking for. Let's see what we got in this bag. Um, we have some, it's not saying, oh, turn it over. <laughs> it's marble cream cake. And they do freeze stuff here um, so that it lasts longer, so it's starting to thaw. So we have a marble cream cake. 
I'll set that over there out of the way for right now so it don't get crushed. This must be my goodie bag. We always get a bag that has like different kinds of goodies. Some Triscuits. I'm going to set that aside over here. And then a stack of Ritz crackers. I think you can never have too many Ritz crackers. Alright, what do we got in this bag? This is like, looks like breads and things. So I'm trying to be careful opening it. We have some French toast bagels. Cinnamon twist French toast bagels. And a bag of rolls. These are really good to make sandwiches on or, or even mini pizzas on. And then we have a soft white uh, gluten-free bread. That's always good. Oh, I almost tossed the bag. And then we have in here um, lean ground beef, 85%. Um, I'll look for dates later. Because sometimes our beef has a tendency to be um, very close to the date, so you want to use it right up. Then we have some stroganoff. I like to take this and add chicken to it. It's really good that way. You don't have to use beef. We have some natural flavor cake mixed with lemon icing. And then we have another stroganoff. This looks like oatmeal. Quick oats. Cool. Elbow macaroni. Raspberry pudding. I'll set that right there because I'll probably mix that up tonight. Blazing cheese jelly town popcorn. Fiery hot. I'm going to have to try this. Definitely going to have to try that. Probably just a few kernels because I don't want to kill myself, but uh, we have another bag with meat that I want to put over to the other side. What do we got in here? We have, um, I don't know who Members Mark is, what store that would be. Um, it is Prime something Strip Steak. You see that? And December 5th. But we will follow that and see what happens. Um, before I get too far, I want to get this meat that I've got over here sitting beside me. This is a 4.4 pound bag of chicken nuggets. Are they spicy or just... It doesn't say spicy, but boy, that package sure looks like it's going to be spicy. And then the other piece of meat that sits over here because I didn't have it in a bag was this roasted chicken that's been uh, kept in the freezer. And that way I have that on the side. Then I also got a package of Jimmy Dean Applewood Smoked Bacon. It's 12 ounce. And... Whoa, look at those pretzels. A package of bakery pretzels. Some classic uh, bar ass franks. And what is this? Oh, look at that. A real good pizza company pizza. The Supreme. And that's about the size I would eat. A <laughs> little pizza. That is perfect. So good. Alright, let's see. I don't see anything right off hand I need to pay close attention to, so we'll go ahead and get this bag. We got some, oh my gosh, have you guys ever tried these bags? This roasted garlic uh, instant potatoes are delicious, guys. Really good. And then we have a Jiffy pie crust mix and a Jiffy corn muffin mix. They're both good to have. It's chilly making time around here, so... Fruit cocktail. And then I have one, two, three loose apples. Those are cool. I'll put them over here because I'm about to make some applesauce. And a can of evaporated milk. 
I'm always checking my dates. Um, oh yeah, this is good for almost a whole year yet. Really good. Great for baking. And then I got some bananas. Really good. I like I like getting fresh fruit and vegetables any time of the year. Um let's see. This makes me extremely happy. Sliced, ready to go apples. And they don't look like they've been frozen. They are fresh. Mmm, they smell delicious. So we have those. We have lettuce. Now, I have gastroparesis, so a lot of this stuff I have to be careful eating. Um, and a lot of this stuff I'll take and cook down and then mash it so I can eat it, like the carrots. I can't just eat a carrot as much as I would like to. And then I have some blue bonnet. You guys remember I got one last month? I went to use it, and I opened it, and guess what? Somebody had opened it and stuck their fingers in it. I kid you not. So, from now on, I'm checking it. It is still sealed. <laughs> it is still sealed. I was so, like, holy cow. I cannot believe that that was like that. But it can happen. And then we have a box of Cheetos mac and cheese. Um, Chester Cheetos. Bold and cheesy. I did not ch try my last one. Um, I knew somebody who had a little girl. And I actually gave her mine. Um, she liked it. So I was like, okay. Oh, good. My last Parmesan cheese got used up. So I was out. Now I don't have to buy any. What have got in the bag? Complete pancake mix. Wow. That's really cool. Extra pancake mix. Propel berry electrolyte water and that is really good march 21 and um right now anything i can get to drink like that is always up this is sticky um so we'll have to wash it off this one is i don't peach mango yummy and I'll set that aside Ugh. Every month, we always get some kind of syrup to go on our pancakes. A box, ooh, dark chocolate mocha. Ugh. I wish I could eat these without them tearing my stomach up. I might try half of one. I might nibble on one just to try the flavor. And then I have coffee. Um, I really wish I could use this, but I have a Keurig. And I do have the little thing you can add it to it, but I've never been able to get the amount right to make the coffee taste good. So um, I have a ton of coffee in my cupboard already. So I think I'll just go ahead and take this over to the community building so that somebody that um, lives here that has a regular coffee maker can enjoy having some more free coffee because right now we all really need the extra help we can get. Let's see what else I can find. We have chicken noodle soup, which lately I've been drinking a lot of soup, brothy soup. We have kidney beans. Oh, goodness. Got me some chunk like tuna, which, you know, I just opened my, other than the cans that I have in my uh, pantry for emergency, I just opened my last can of tuna. So I'm glad I got another can. And now we have a big can of tuna. That's always good to get the big cans. Oh, we have sauerkraut. Oh my gosh. I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. I love sauerkraut. I don't know how it's going to work on my tummy, but I guess I find out, don't I? I have not had sauerkraut in a very long time. And now we have tomato soup. And... Long grain white rice. I have a ton of rice, but I need to start making some like rice pudding and rice, uh, Spanish rice. My mother used to make that all the time. What else have we got? Something is leaking because I'm wet. I'll have to check those drinks. We got a mini beef ravioli. 
chili with beans. I had my other can like this because I had two of them in my last bag and I ate one. This is really good. Really good. Sliced carrots. Sliced carrots. No salt added. Well, I saw the picture and I was like, how do they slice it? <laughs> oh my gosh, my head is not working. Cut green beans. I usually don't get green beans. So that's good to get them. Traditional spaghetti sauce. Mushrooms. A little can of tomato sauce. And it's dented, but it's not a sharp dent. And the both ends look good. So we have a can of tomato paste. Everything to make a pot of chili with. And um, I'm going to grab my... Oh, the other thing I got was my, this is from the USDA box. This is my orange juice, which I'm slowly sipping orange juice, um, which I mix my orange juice with um, water, half and half. That way, A, I'm getting water in me, and by diluting something in the water, I can drink it. Because with gastroparesis, some people cannot drink water with that plain water without being in extreme pain, and I'm one of those. So by adding like a little bit of orange juice or a little bit of Gatorade or a little bit of uh, um, like the body armor or something like that in it, um, it puts something in the water other than just plain water, and I don't have the extreme stomach pain. Um, also... I'm switched from regular Gatorade to Gatorade Zero, which nobody in town has Gatorade Zero. So I had somebody drop me off some from another town the, last night. And I'm glad they did because I went and looked again today. And other than um, Fruit Punch, which for some reason makes me um, want to do something like really bad, I end up with dry heaves. Um, just the smell of it, I can't handle it. Because I don't know why. It is what it is. So, um, russet potatoes. Five on bag of potatoes. And we got a young chicken. And he's well frozen, as you can see. Oh. And then I got a Chicago Meat House ground beef. And this one is full ground beef. Usually my second package of meat is like a patty blend. This one is an actual uh, full 100% beef. Um, then we have raisins. The winter time we get a lot of raisins. This is a fruit and nut mix. Um, I have a friend that likes uh, to take this and add other stuff to it. And make a, like a whole trail mix with um, M&M's and all that in there. And he's the one that just gave me a ride to the pantry. If I if I thought, I would have told him to hold on. I have something in here, but I wasn't thinking. My legs are cramping. Hold on, guys. And then I got a package of cheese. I imagine it's foil wrapped inside. Oh, no. We can see it. Look at that. I got a brick of cheese. I think this is, what, two or three pounds? Two pounds. Um, and it is the American, yellow American. It's not like, you know, it's kind of on the lines of, like, I don't know what you, I can't think of the words. Words are just evading me. I'm just going to stop thinking. Um... And then we have the fully pork cooked pork patties with soy pro, pro, you know what I'm trying to say. That's what I got. That over there with the meat. I got another 100% ground beef from Chicago Meat House. And I put that over there with the meat. I got a beef stew in the bag. And I think my light should be facing me. Or maybe I kicked it a little bit. Let's see if I push that light a little towards me. Let's see if that helps because it was pretty dark. And then I got some split peas. That is awesome right there. 
And now we have, this is, like I said, this is the USDA box. So I got my can of beef. I'm going to make some um, beef stew using that probably tomorrow. So you'll see a couple cooking vlogs because I can't go anywhere for number one. Um, and number two, um, um, I'm just not, um, I'm just out of breath and tired right now. And I got to let my body heal a little bit. Um, and then pork. And no, I don't have the C word or Rona or nothing like that. And then I have my can of pork. Um, yellow clean peaches. And, oh my gosh, I love apricots. So I got a can of apricots. I got a can of corn. And then I got some green beans. I wonder if getting green beans is like seasonal. Although, suddenly I'm starting to get green beans. And then chickpeas. I know there's recipes out there for chick using chickpeas. I must try some. And pink salmon. Um, I, I've got to find a way to use that because I get it almost every month. And then black eyed peas. I like black eyed peas, guys. And then we have a bag of something. Oh, we have, ooh. Um, I think it's open. Yep. Okay. I have an open bag of dried milk, which is okay because I usually don't use it. Um, I'll leave it right there in the box for right now. All right, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. I am always so very blessed with everything that I get. And um, some of this will go into my um, prepping pantry. And I get I got some flack over my pantry. What are you gonna do if blah 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 blah? Well, my prepping pantry is not a quote unquote preppers for the end of the world. My prepping pantry is for if we have a lockdown. I know I said I was going to do a video showing all of my prep, but um I I can't get up to show you my venison stash. I have like uh, 20 some packages of venison and I don't know, I might just take a video of my venison. Oh, I did not show you this. Um, so there's that. I don't know. I don't know how to go about doing it. But I also have all my laundry supplies and all that. And I know a lady said, said, could you show us all of it? And I'll break it down, a list, that kind of thing. So I have that video do, that I'm going to plan to do before, um, before there's a change going on. I did get a, ba a bag of package of toilet paper. Um, and then, of course, we always get hand sanitizer, which says for hands only. It's not hand sanitizer. It's being distributed as hand cleanser. See the difference? Hand cleanser. Not to be drank. And that's where some people get the things mixed up. The, the difference between a hand cleanser and a hand sanitizer. This is to keep your hands clean. To wash your hands with. It's not an actual sanitizer. There's a difference. Um, and then we have... Oh, I've been wanting this. Um, you can read it. Yeah, it's that stuff. Rinse your mouth with a two-pack of Colgate toothpaste. A um, little bitty to-go scope. Bar down soap. Oh, I got two little bitty to-go scopes. And... A bottle, a container of air. So that was my toiletry. Well, like I said, I do plan on doing that video, kind of breaking down what you want to have on hand, a basic person for like one or two people of, you know, what do you want to keep on hand? I'm also going to, for my other channel, do a video on making the candles again. Um, I think I have a jar left to do a candle with. So everybody, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking, subscribing, um, being here, just hanging out with me. 
follow me for my food pantry hauls, my crafting, my stories. Um, like I said, I'm kind of a lost right now um, because A, no car, B, no, um, just my help. I need to let my body do a little bit of healing and building my strength back up. So um, thank you for keeping up with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Everybody have a most wonderful and blessed day. And I'm going to put this video up as soon as I shut my mouth and quit talking. Y'all, bye guys.